It's the eighth largest food and beverage company in the U.S., but Keurig Dr. Pepper got its start in a downtown Waco drugstore. And tonight's Traveling Texas, Ann Harder takes us to the museum dedicated to the friendly Pepper Upper. This historic building at the corner of 5th and Mary is home to the nation's only nonprofit museum telling the story of the soft drink industry. Of course, it's centered around Dr. Pepper, the nation's oldest soft drink brand. At the time, Waco was the center of everything happening in Texas. Dr. Charles Alderton was a pharmacist in 1885 at the old corner drugstore where it all began. He would fill prescriptions and in his free time experiment with soda flavors. His concoction of 23 flavors became quite popular. It was known as a Waco. We know it today as Dr. Pepper. This building was built in 1906 to house the company headquarters for Dr. Pepper. Mary Beth Farrell is Director of Development and Communication for the museum. At that time, it was called the Artesian Manufacturing and Bottling Company. And it was built at this location because they had access to this artesian well where they could get water to make the Dr. Peppers. The museum showcases that original artesian well as well as the early bottling process used to produce the soft drink. It really took off after being introduced at the 1904 World's Fair. All the Dr. Pepper slogans and commercials throughout the years are on exhibit too. 1024 is one of their longest running and most popular advertising campaigns they did. It started in the 1920s with some information they got from a university that did a study about when your blood sugar gets low during the day. The study found your blood sugar dips around 10.30 in the morning, 2.30 and 4.30 in the afternoon. The company took that information and ran with it. They actually had a contest within the company to see who could come up with the best slogan. The man who won came up with the slogan, drink a bite to eat at 10, 2, and 4 which was genius because it was telling people you need three Dr. Peppers a day to make it through the day. A successful ad campaign lasting from the 1920s all the way through the 40s. I'm a Pepper was their other most popular advertising campaign. Yeah. People loved that one. Since its 1991 opening, the nonprofit museum has welcomed more than 1.7 million visitors. It has more than 300,000 artifacts encompassing the Dr. Pepper story and more. Dr. Pepper is our main example, but we love all soft drinks here at the museum, and we just want to tell the story of that industry. For a fee, you can have enhanced experiences. And you can also create your own soda, right? Yes, so our other experience is our make-a-soda experience, where for $10 a bottle, you can make your own unique flavor of soft drink using a variety of different syrups. With the Make a Soda experience, you can write your name and date on the bottle and take it home with you. You can test your taste buds too. For $12, sample a flight of six hard to find Keurig Dr. Pepper flavors with the help of a soda sommelier. Yes, there is such a thing. Sun drop and this new sun kissed strawberry lemonade. And for the serious Dr. Pepper lover, the Extreme Pepper Experience, $75 gets you a private tour, including photo ops throughout the museum. And don't forget a Dr. Pepper float to wrap up your visit to the museum, which by the way, is celebrating a milestone. Well, it's our 30th birthday this year, so we're super excited for the next 30 years. So from the fascinating history to a delicious Dr. Pepper float, you will enjoy your visit to the Dr. Pepper Museum.